Well, birds are going to fly in the sky, but what can they do? What could they do to the sky? And as they're flying, some of them shed, and the shed falls down and goes back to the earth. But does it leave a mark on the sky? Airplanes constantly fly in the sky, and they leave marks. Some of them, what do you call it? I forgot the name. I lost. Where? Chem chemtrails, right? So what happened to the sky? You keep leaving chemtrails in the sky, but five days, ten days after, when the wind comes, and then you look up, and the sky is blue. The sky never. It was never touched. And those of you who live in Europe or east coast of the U.S. and you live in places with cold climates and rain and snow and blizzards, how many how many seasons have you seen bad weather? How many? Maybe for one time I was in Norway. I didn't see the sun for 29 days. For 29 days, I didn't see the sunshine. It was cloudy every single day, or raining, or snowing, or whatever. But after all the clouds go away, when you look at the sky, the sky is blue. The sky doesn't tell you. I am not going to be blue anymore because it's been snowing. And raining, and thunders, and blizzards been happening, and my feelings are hurt, and I'm going to be light blue from now on. I'm going to have some scars on me. I'm going to be semi pink because I'm damaged. I have emotional traumas from childhood, and I'm not going to be blue anymore. The sky doesn't give a shit what happened. Si three months of bad weather, or six months of bad weather, or nine months of bad weather. At the end of the day, when all the clouds go, the sky is still the sky, and it's blue, same way it was blue before. It's the same blue as if you go to Egypt. It's the same blue as if you go to North Pole. It's all the same blue. So silence, if you recognize yourself, if you turn your attention inwards towards yourself, it's always silence. It's always quiet. It's always here. And it's always untouched. And if you recognize that as who you are, if you bring your attention on it, then anything that appears will disappear, and you are not that thing. Because now you realize what you are. You're untouchable. It's immortal. It's always been here. It will always be here. And because of that, recognizing that, recognizing who you are, that you're the silence. You're still. You're here. It's unchanging. In that recognition, you're no longer. Affiliating that you're your mind. So by that shift, all of a sudden, your action, your speech, your thoughts coming from silence, not from mind, not from chaos, and something has shifted. Something has turned around, because then everything you say 
everything you do and everything you think becomes pure and holy because it's coming from the source. It's not coming from the mind. It's coming from the source. It's coming from emptiness. So then you see the magic of life, of how things synchronize. Because you're not attached any longer to any kind of results. You're just secure in where you're at. And then life starts to present things to you. And things starts to happen. But you have no attachments to any of it because your attention on that which that doesn't change. Not that which comes and goes. So you're detached from results. So existence starts presenting things to you. And you operate from clarity. It's when you're clear, you're awake, your eyes are open, your ears are open, your mind is clear, then you see the pathway in your life. Which direction do I need to go? But when you're asleep and you're dizzy and you're drugged, as most people on this planet are, they're either on a lot of sugar or craft caffeine or drugs or alcohol or all kinds of prescription medications, diet medications. You're not clear. You can't be clear. You can't tune in to your self. You don't hear your higher self. You don't hear the wisdom speaking because you're too busy with the phone, you're too busy with Instagram, you're too busy in with Donald Trump, you're too busy with the news of the world. You're just dizzy. You're not awake. Someone needs to come and shake you up. Well, as you wake up to who you are, then you're not concerned so much with your thoughts, you're not concerned with your emotions, you're not so invested on worshipping a body that is only here for a few days. You're clear. You're not focused on what's happening in the world that doesn't even exist or it's not important. Your attention is coming to the truth of who you are. You're not drinking the real orange juice. You're drinking the juice, not the poison that you've been drinking all of your life. Now clarity appears. Now you can see the way which you couldn't see before because your judgment was clouded. I have no other way to explain this to you. You have to come this way to see it for yourself. I can't tell you what awakening is and what is it like to operate from a place of silence unless you give it a try. I can sit down here and have conversations forever, but I don't want to have conversations with your intellectual mind because it's ain't going to get it. <laughs>